Hi, Peter Charles here of Hooked Fly Fly Fishing, and today we're going to tie the winters. Now this is a very straightforward fly that we can use a speed tying technique on it, and it's uh, composed of claret and brown, which I think is a very good color combination. Uh, it produces a rather buggy look in the water. Um, so let's get looking at uh, the materials and get tying the fly. We're using a, a size 8 in a traditional wet fly hook. Our thread is black 8 aught. Our wing and our tail are going to be made out of brown mallard. Our body is claret floss, and we're going to use furnace for the hackle. Okay, let's get going. Okay, we're going to use a speed tying technique here. So I'm just going to prepare my tail. We're going to use long material so I can uh, tie it in at the front. There we go, we size it. A couple of wraps just to hold it. Now we put in our floss, keep it on top, a couple of wraps. Now grab everything and skid it down, keep it neat because we're doing a floss body. Just pass the hook point and come back. Okay, now we wrap our floss, as usual, pull the twist out of it, get nice and flat and smooth, and watch out for that hook point. Okay, now we're going to tie in our hackle, and you can see I've prepared the feather by taking off one side, and I'm just going to cut in a tying in point, a little triangle. Okay, wind forward, always go in front of the previous turn, push any fibers back that want to stick forward. There's always one or two that want to go forward. Okay, now we put in our wing back halfway about the tail. And we whip finish. Now for some head cement. Okay, there you go, the winters. Now I want to just point out a couple of things to you. You'll notice the head is large and the wing is flat. That's one of the styles of flies I tend to tie. Uh, the large head uh, will push water and the flat wing will allow that fly to penetrate better and to stay down better. I've got a video on that on uh, large heads versus small heads. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's a style of fly uh, tying that I did. I, I caused that by keeping my thread close to the front end of the hook. Uh, if I allowed space, I would have ended up with a, a wing that would be sticking up and um, a smaller head. These are fashion choices and functional choices. So you can do it either way, your choice, but uh, this is an alternative. Very simple fly to tie, very quick. I think it'll look good in the water, uh, and I'm quite sure it'll do quite well for you. So give it a try. Cheers.